Hi everyone, we have here a very nice pair of Bose headphones uh, that I bought on the internet for around 40 euros, the equivalent of $50. Uh, my job here uh, is to turn them into totally wireless headphones by removing the cable and replacing it with a micro USB port. Now uh, let's just start by removing the uh, ear pads. This is a pretty easy job. You just pull them out like that. And we remove the uh, lining in the ear caps. This is just a very uh, thin uh, layer of lining. And let's start uh, removing the screws. One, two, three. Four, five. That's it. Now let's just pop this open. Be careful because at the bottom there, as you can see, there is some glue. And also be careful not to uh, pull that cable. You see that sticky white glue. Just remove it very carefully, not to rip any cables. That's it, that the speaker has been removed. You can leave it attached by that cable. And let's remove the, the glue that keeps the cables attached to the ear cap. So once we remove the glue, we carefully try to lift this cable away from the case. Right. Now I just need to cut it. And this is the uh, micro USB uh, that I want to solder onto those cables that I just cut. I'm just trying here to see how it's gonna fit into the ear cap this is approximately the way it's gonna look like and i'm pretty happy with that now let's unscrew those screw that uh, keep the um, circuit board pinned to the ear cup. Let us lift the circuit board in a comfortable position for me to work because I need to use a soldering machine. And uh, in this step, I'm just burning away uh, with the lighter the plastic sleeves so to expose the metal uh, part of the wire so that I can solder it. To the micro, uh, to the micro USB circuit board, and in here I just um, uh, file. I'm just filing away some of the plastic so that the uh, circuit board of the micro USB can fit perfectly into the ear cap. Now I'm gonna put some flux in here um, so to make it easier for me to do the soldering and I'm gonna spread it with my uh, soldering iron. I'm just gonna get the whole circuit board ready to be soldered. Now I'm gonna use the tin wire just to melt a few droplets in the contact points. Now I'm going to put some uh, soldering tin into each one of the traces. Just a droplet, that's enough. And this procedure will make my work easier 
when I will have to solder the wires onto those points. So I'm going to start by soldering the red wire, then the white one, the green one, then I'm going to skip one and solder the black one, which is the ground, into the grounding trace. Now I'm going to check for continuity in the current flow and uh, everything works well. So the soldering has been successful. Let me re remove this tape so I can go on and solder the last wire which I had to replace because it was too short. So let's solder it to its specific point, which is there. Let me check for continuity here. Now it's soldered and uh, it's working all right. So connection are good. Let me check if uh, the battery charge yeah, it's flashing there, so it's working. So let me put everything together now. Just being careful not to rip any cables. Put the screws back. Two and three. And now let's place the micro uh, USB port into its place. Let me check if it fits well. It fits well. Those two rounded notches that I filed down using a chainsaw file, they proved to be very useful for the fitting of the, uh, of the port. Now uh, I'm going to use some hot glue here. And let's glue the port into its place. Here I'm gonna uh, use the, this leftover piece of the cable I cut um, to uh, cut away a little bit of uh, plastic to use it as a, as a let's say as a plug you will see in a second. Uh, so to make the uh, micro usb port look better on the ear cup this is the piece of plastic i cut out and i'm gonna use it to fill the gap there so to make the headphone look better and now let's remove the two um, audio jack leftover cables from the very long black cable because they have no purpose here anymore. And let's put uh, the whole thing uh, back together. Let's press it down so that it locks into place. Now we uh, put the screws back in. One, two, Three, I believe this four, four and five, six actually. And now we need to use some adhesive tape as uh, and use three pieces and to be able to put the lining back in its place. there put the lining back and now uh, the rings the cushions of the ear cups and um, now it's done um, put the plug in here 
it's not necessary but it looks better and let's test the uh, headphones here this sounds good let's test the right ear cup volume up is working volume down it is working that's good everything works as it should so for fifty dollars you have a very good pair of Bose headphones that otherwise you would find on the market for 200 plus dollars so that's it for now I hope this video was useful to you. Thanks for watching and uh, see us around.